One and two. On the outside corner. Matt Kent can't believe it. But Angel Hernandez is ringing him up. Gone. So Matt Kemp is kicked out of the game. Mattingly trying to ride to the rescue, but it's too late. Now that he knows he's gone, Matt lets it out. Manure, among other things, or at least a reasonable facsimile. So the last three Dodgers have struck out. Oh, Matt Kemp got thrown out. Kemp's got to be careful here. Don't make any inadvertent contact. Uh, Victorino out there to help out as well. What a brilliant move here by Shane Victorino joined the team just a couple of weeks ago and he's the guy out there making sure that the star of this team stays in the game. You see Kemp now leaning up against the umpire. He's trying just to get to have his say with the guy who threw him out of the game. But you can't be making contact with another umpire. You'll get suspended. But obviously Matt Kemp is not happy at all right now. He has been ejected from this game. It's so hard. To get ejected from a ball game from sitting on the bench. The home plate umpire Angel Campos is uh, well, he's hearing it from Don Mattingly. He, Don may have been thrown out now too. While we were away, Matt Kemp continued to argue with plate umpire Marty Foster, and it got more heated. And finally, Foster said, "Hey, I've had enough. You're gone." And that hurts. I mean, Kemp. You know, might come up in the ninth inning with a couple men on and a chance to tie or win the game, and now he's gone. So to make the changes, Bud Black brings in Clint Barmas at shortstop. Amarista goes from short to center, and Myers shifts from center to right. Well, Dick, if you think about the situation, you're exactly right. You want Matt Kemp to stay in the game. Last inning. Mm. Three and one. Kemp still jawing about that uh, 2 0 pitch. Uh oh, here we go. He's oh, going to no. be tossed. Now they're going to toss him. Watch out. Get out there and get between them. Elias Onya has been a pitcher's umpire for both sides, mind you. Both sides. Kashner got some calls as well. If somebody get Kemp out of there before he does something that's going to create uh, some damage after this game. You don't need a suspension. Well, you know, when I, when I look at that situation first and foremost, you don't know what was said between umpire and player, but you know what? If you're going to jaw at the umpire, I think Matt went about it the right way because he never looked at the umpire. He came out of the box. He, he was either looking at home plate or he's looking towards the pitcher. Well, there's a but difference. Black has been tossed as well. It's a 2 0 pitch that he didn't like. Did he? They checked. Yes, he did. And so Matt called out on a check swing. He is fit to be tied, having struck out three times yesterday, and knowing the fire is burning within him. He looks down to Ted Barrett. He cannot believe that was called a swing and a strike. One ball and no strike. And wait a minute, Ted Barrett is going to throw, I think. Could he possibly have thrown Matt Kemp out of the game from 20 feet behind first base? We don't have a camera. Maybe Matt gestured. I don't know. Oh, then he hits it. Oh, he's he's ticked. Hits him on an 0-2 pitch. 
Uh, now we've got some uh, action going on. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been fiery here. And uh, somebody takes down Kemp. Here come the bullpen. And this all goes back to that slide that you saw Anderton Simmons into Derek Norris went out of his way to, to hit the Padre catcher. One of the things that I noticed and I really like, you know, the first player out of the dugout was Justin Upton. He was there in a split second to support Kemp. Single before Ethier with an inning ending double play. And the count one and two and uh, both Kemp and the crowd not happy with Chris Conroy's call on this one. Went around. Was a swing. So it's one and two. On the outside corner, strike three, and Matt Kemp goes down. He gets a fastball right there. So four strikeouts for Chadwood, all four third strikes. Well, and you see Matt Kemp just got thrown out. Home plate umpire Chris Conroy threw him out. He's arguing from home plate. Excuse me, from the dugout. That part about all of this, and, and it's something that I, I completely had a problem with when I was a player. There's an emotional component when you're a player and you're upset. If you're at the other end of the dugout and you're screaming out onto the field, the umpires need to just disregard that unless it's just verbally abusive because you're emotional. You're going to it's going to die down. You're going to get tired, but you can't be looking into the dugout. Oh, who's doing that? And then just can somebody, especially a guy like Matt Kemp. Come on. But see that I, I just think that's too quick. Chris Conroy chasing Matt Kemp. And uh, so now the Dodgers are without their biggest weapon of the game. Two and one. Ethier hitting about 100 points higher against right handed pitching against lefties. And somebody has just been thrown out of the game, and it may be Matt Kemp. And here comes Don Mattingly. The delay in the toss could be that Matt went under and looked at the pitch on TV and then came out and started to bark because that's a long time to think that he had been yelling for that long during this at bat. And you know what after that yep. long I mean you shouldn't your ears your, your focus should be on the batter up at the plate and the pitches you shouldn't be listening and focusing over there in the dugout. Yep. You know you know guys are going to bark you know that but just let it go. Seth Buckminster may or may not have 2020 eyesight, but he's got 2020 hearing. <laughs> and so the Dodgers, already a man down, Hanley Ramirez, a last minute scratch with a bad shoulder. Kemp has been thrown out of the game, and he's not done yet. with those fingers. Strike three call. The Dodger dugout is coming unglued on Trip Gibson. That includes Justin Turner standing on the dugout bench voicing his displeasure. Oh, a heave home. Dave Roberts didn't get there quite in time, but look at his money's worth. Here's a one-two. Line drive into right field is going to drop in for a base hit. Here comes Kemp. Throw to the plate, and he is out from here to Pasadena. Collision at the plate. Now Kemp and Chirinos, and the benches are clearing. There was a collision at the plate. Then the pushing and shoving ensued. Now out of the bullpen, the relief pitchers are all out on the field. Haven't seen anything like this involving the Dodgers this year. And it's a it's a pretty ambiguous rule. There's a lot of gray area to it. And is that why there's no path? It'll be interesting 